hello again everyone in this video tutorial we are going to solve this given logarithmic equation now in this step uh, if you look at this equation this looks really cumbersome we wanna compress this logarithmic equation by using this fact if you have a log of a plus log of b we can write log of a times b in this case we have a, this a part and this is a b so we can compress them and we can write as a multiplication so this is the way we can write log of 2x minus 6 times x as a product multiplication with the base 6 equals to 2 things like look a lot, lot simpler now now i want you to go ahead and distribute this thing multiply them out so this could be written as log of 2x square minus 6x with the base 6 equals to 2. now is is it possible that we can convert this one this equation into an exponential form because that's going to be a lot simpler and we will be using this fact if you want to convert from logarithmic form to an exponential form and by the way this is going to be our b this part is going to be our a and this part is going to be c then we can write as an exponential form as 2 x square minus 6 x equal to 6 power 2 so far so good and now what I'm gonna do is next step 2 x square minus 6 x 6 power 2 is 36 so far so good now I want you to move this 36 on the left hand side so this could be written as 2x square minus 6x once you move 36 on the left hand side become negative 36 equal to 0. now as you can observe you can see that all these terms are divisible by 2 so i can divide across the board by 2. do you see that one so this way we're going to simplify that one could be written as x square minus 3x minus 18 equal to 0. now this is a quadratic equation that could be easily factored out so the possible factor is going to be x minus 6 and x plus three let's go ahead and split them up x minus six equal to zero and the other side x plus three equal to zero so x turns out to be equal to six and here x turns out to be negative three these are two of our solutions and now we want to check our answer for any extraneous solution so wherever you see in this original equation replace x equals to 6 we want to check it out first x equal to 6 so this becomes log of 2 times x is 6 minus 6 with the base 6 plus log of 6 with the base 6 and we're gonna see is it equal to 2 we're gonna see that one so right now you can write log of 2 times 6 is 12 minus 6 with base 6 plus log of 6 with base 6 so again we're gonna see question mark is it equal to 2 so we're gonna see that thing so log of 12 minus 6 is 6 base 6 plus log of 6 with a base 6 equal to question mark equals to 2 
And now look at this one. When you these two numbers, the argument and the base, they are same. By this fact, on the right hand side, they are equal to one. So this is one plus one. Is it equal to two? So two equals to two. Is it? Th yes, this statement is true. So thus x equal to 6 is our solution. And finally, we're going to check our answer for our other solution, x equal to negative 3. Let's plug it in this original equation. So log of 2 times negative 3 minus 6 with the base 6 plus log of this becomes negative 3 since x is negative 3 base 6 and we're going to see equals to 2. So log of this become negative 6, negative 6 becomes negative 12 base 6 plus log of negative 3 with the base 6 equals to 2. But over here, as you see that the log of any negative number is impossible as the log of a negative number does not exist. That means this whole statement is false. So that means this x equal to negative 3 is not our solution. Thus x equal to negative 3 is an extraneous solution. Hence, x equal to 6 is our only solution. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.